Now, Jim, I know that you are a big fan of investing in North Korea. You own gold coins, stamps. How else are you playing that market? In my view, within a few years, there's going to be a merger of the North and the South, and we're going to have a dynamic new country right there on the Chinese border. There will be, be a huge competitor for Japan. Japan doesn't want the merger, but I suspect it's going to happen. And why doesn't Japan want the merger? Because then they'll have a competitor with 75 million people, cheap labor in the North, disciplined, educated labor, huge natural resources in the North, combined with management and capital from the from South Korea, be a powerhouse. Japan could compete with it. And, and right on the Chinese border, Japan doesn't want to have to compete with something like that. And in how many years is North and South Korea going to merge? Would you say four years, five years? Five, five years. You write it down. Okay. Five years. Five See years. you in 2018. Okay. And who's going to lead that country? Is it the kid? I know you refer to him <laughs> the as kid. the kid. Well, the kid, the kid probably won't. But the kid will probably have himself a nice deal. I mean, maybe they'll send him to America to get an MBA or something. You know, and it's part of the deal. He'll get an MBA, an honorary. He won't even have to study. He'll get his MBA. Maybe from Wharton. Wouldn't that he'll be nice? get his <laughs> MBA from Wharton. Or maybe he'll be, go to California. Maybe he'd like to be with California kids for a while. Um, last time you were here, we spoke a bit about Myanmar. You're bullish on that country. H how are you playing it? How are you well, able the only to way, There's one company that's listed in, in Singapore that I own, and I've owned for a long time, but I don't know any other way yet. There is no stock exchange. They're going to open one in 2015, they say. But that's the only way I know to play uh, Myanmar. And Russia. We, last time you were here, you are also I'm bullish looking, on Russia. I'm looking for ways. I have a few small investments in Russia. I'm trying to find stocks or bonds, uh, but I don't want to buy the mainstream ones. I want to buy the, the different things. Maybe I'm being too And I might buy the currency. I might buy the ruble. Okay. Now, Reuters is speaking to the president of Liberia. Does West Africa interest you? And if so, how would you play those types of markets, frontier markets in Africa? No, Africa is extremely interesting to me. Most of them have stock markets. Ghana has a stock market. Ivory Coast has a stock market. Nigeria, there's stock markets you can you can play. I don't have investments in in uh, West Africa at the moment, but I have had in the past. There's certainly plenty of ways to play. Yeah. You love gold, you know. Well, You're known as the commodities down, king. Yeah, I own gold. I'm not. I'm not buying gold. I wouldn't buy gold now. I'm waiting for gold. To, to, I don't, in my view, the gold bottom, whatever the bottom is, hasn't been made yet, uh, the final bottom, and I probably won't get it right, but if and when, I hope I buy more gold. And when? When would you buy it? Uh, <laughs> tell me when the bottom is. I'll also, you know, watch Thompson Reuters and figure out when the bottom is. That's what I, I hope I'll buy then. And how low will uh, gold go? I, I know you know, think I don't you, know. Ha you have an opinion. I don't know. The, the normal reactions are 40%, 50%. You know, 60% sometimes you have reactions in when you have a start to have a correction. Gold hasn't corrected for 12 years, not a proper correction for 12 years. So it needs, this is overdue, I welcome this. Even though I own gold, I welcome what's going on because then maybe we'll hit a very solid final bottom and then the bull market can resume.